Hey guys, what's up? 536 person here. You know, I decided to make this video because, like, I've covered on how to do, like, different, like, mods that you can do on, uh, like, Train Simulator. But I never really got into, it, like, how to use any of the programs that I use when I mod Train Simulator. And, I mean, I, I got a comment today, and I think it was from, like, Brandon Jackson or something. I'm sorry if I totally messed up your name. But, like... He was asking what I used to unpack a AP files, so I was like, well, that's one thing I never really covered on how to use was 7-zip and where to get 7-zip. So click on your internet and then just type in 7-zip. And then it's the first one, it says 7-zip.org. And then it's going to bring you to this page. I'll put the link in my the description of this video as well. But you want to download it based on your operating system. So, like, for Windows right here, that's 12, 11, 18. This is the one I download. I guess you can download the newer one for Windows. But you want to down if you have a 32-bit system, then you want to download it for a 32-bit system. Or, or if you have it for a 64-bit system, then you want to download it for a... 64-bit uh, system. It all depends on what window operating system it is, and you can find that if you go into your library. And this may take a little bit because I don't initially know how to do it. Yeah, if you just go to Control Panel or um, go to library, go to my computer, system properties, it says right here at your system type 64 bit or 32 bit. So that's how you can find out that way. It's a beta, so I'm going to download that and see what that looks like. Alright, no I'm not because that's going to take me somewhere else. So you just want to click like on the download and then right here pay only attention to this right here. Don't touch anything else and it just downloads it and then open a new tab and close out that crap because you don't know about viruses or anything so then you've downloaded it and then next you want to install it or just ask you to run instead right and, and it's just gonna you're just gonna just re install it but since I already have it on my computer I don't need to install it so after you installed it and everything, you you open it and I think I believe this is the first thing that you should see. And what you want to do is you just basically want to find Railworks. So wherever you have Railworks installed, that's where you want to go. For most people, it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks. I don't want to rename it. And acid. So let, let me just go to an AP file right now. This is the AP, AP file, and you just double click and it just opens straight past it. And then another big thing that you need to know is when especially doing horn mods. After you after you like I have a horn mod on the ES44 AC right now. So after you like put all your files and then well, in 7-zip, you don't have to copy and paste anything. You can just move it over. So, music is not where I have that installed, right? Okay. Train some mods. So, like, right, you want to do this whole copy, and then come over here. You, you don't do the copy and paste. You can just... Well, instead, I said you can copy and paste. You can just do that, and it says, "Do you want to copy the files?" You just click yes, and it takes it takes a while sometimes. Yes, I want to cancel because the file's already in there. Yes. Well, it appears I just crashed seven to. That's annoying. Well, now that we're back up and running. So you just drag the files over and then it like copies the files in here. And then you want to find this file right here because he's your best friend forevermore now. You guys are going to get really personal as in you're going to open him by pressing F. Oh, shut up, shut up Instagram. No one likes you. You're going to want to press like F4. You want to just click on it and highlight it and stuff. So just click on it and then 
hit F4 and it brings up this really confusing amount of letters and scripting crap that I don't even get. So don't ask me what it means. Um, and you want to, the first one right here, that's for your bell. Most of the times it's going to say like T, un, like T underscore ES44 underscore bell dot dav. But you want to change it to your bell name. So I, if I pop back, I have bell.wave. And then right here, I have typed in bell.wave. So that this is telling Train Simulator right here that when I press B, like uh, the, the key B in game, that is the file I'm going to use, right? And then you want to make sure, for most of the times when you put the horns in with the proxy, proxy XML document, it just changes all this for you because the proxy XML document, which is what I have open right now, is already coded or typed to use the horn loops. But you just want to make sure just in case. See, I have horn loop right there, wave, and then horn loop wave, and then horn start wave, horn end wave, horn end cab wave, you know. And another thing is if I had this typed in, if I get rid of the underscore, I'm looking right here. If I get rid of the underscore and then press space, it won't work. Because I guess their spaces aren't a thing in scripting. You have to press press un, add an underscore. If you don't know how to add an underscore, um, you have to hold shift. And then it's, you know, the minus key like you use to subtract, not the one on the numpad. But the other one with the little, the two lines on it, there's a small line and a big line. You hold shift and press that key and adds an underscore. So that's pretty much how you use it. You then want to go to file and save it. And then if it says this, sometimes it says this, usually in AP files, but it says was modified. You want to update it in the archive. Click OK. And then you got to wait for it to update. sometimes takes a while and we're still waiting and we're still waiting and we're still waiting this is a proper time in which you check Instagram and Twitter and you go get a drink or something and you, you know, solve cancer. There we go. So that that's pretty much how you work 7-Zip. I mean, I think if you don't have 7-Zip, you could possibly just do something with the right mouse button. I just find 7-Zip to be pretty easy. I went to the wrong one, I won't. Because see, I even have 7-Zip right here, so you don't have to load it through 7-Zip. You can just go 7-Zip and then go to Open Archive and it opens it. But yeah, oops. That's how you, that's how you do things with 7-Zip. I don't, I don't use any of this. You really don't have to. If you want to delete something, you can just like walk up and go delete like that. Or press Dell. LOL, I know that's delete. But yeah, that's that's about it on how to use 7-Zip. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any more questions, just shoot them to me. Because I'm probably not covering like about 90% of the things still. So uh, th thanks guys for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video or whenever.